number 16, tip number 16, is about cross-contamination in your car. I've mentioned a few of these things in earlier videos, but I want to kind of condense them all into one. Now, before you've left the range, you've already washed your hands with cool water and D-lead soap if it's available. Regular soap is better than nothing. Once you've gotten to your car, I know before I figured all this stuff out, I used to just kind of throw all my range gear into the trunk, and I had a lot of it because I spent six, seven, eight hours at the range. So I'd have a roll of targets, I would have my range bag, I would have uh, just all the things that you normally take to the range. But this is a really great way to keep all that enclosed. If you just take yourself some type of a Rubbermaid container so that all that gear can just be placed right down into it and closed because it's really easy just to wipe down the exterior of this that you might have touched. Now the reason this is so important is because if you contaminate your trunk of your car, that's the place where you put your groceries. If you have a child, it's the place where you put the stroller and the diaper bag. Um, you may throw coats in there. Who knows what you throw in your trunk? And once it's been contaminated, like mine, it's impossible for me to get all the lead out of there. I taught for three, four years. I'm not going nearly as much now because we've adopted a baby. But I mean, there's so much lead in the trunk of that car, and there's no way I can get rid of that. So I can't ever, until we buy a new car, I can't ever have a lead-free trunk out because I was just throwing all that stuff in there every day for years. Um, now, I can help be preventive, preventative now, but I can't go back and take care of that problem unless I pay some service, some huge amount of money, and I don't know what they would do. Recarpet the trunk. I don't know. But anyway, if you want to protect yourself and your family from cross-contamination in the trunk of your car, just use some type of plastic receptacle that you can put all of your range gear into, and it can easily be wiped down with the D-LED wipes on the exterior. Also, going from the trunk to the cab of your truck or to the inside of your car, you've used the D-LED wipes after you've handled your gear, you've used those wipes on, on your hands and exposed skin before you start touching your gear shift and your steering wheel and all that stuff. Because once you start touching all of that, you know you're going to be touching your face because people always touch their faces. <laughs> and then you're getting into ingestion and absorption again.